One man who played more than his fair share of matches in the Tri-Nations over the years is former Wallaby forward George Smith. The most capped flanker in the history of the sport retired from international rugby in February of this year after winning 110 caps, 41 of them coming in the Tri-Nations. It was a decision that surprised many in the game, considering that Smith had yet to reach his 30th birthday. It was a decision made easy by, by myself and, um, and by my family. Uh, as I said earlier, it, it wasn't just a, a thing that I'd been thinking about for a couple of months. It had been over, a, uh, I guess, a 16 month period. And, um, you know, I'd always had the, the, um, you know, the goal of, of experiencing different things. And I think I'm at the stage of my life where, where I can do that and, and where I'm prepared to do that as well. And the surprises didn't stop there. In June of this year, it was announced that he would leave the Brumbies, his one and only club since turning professional a decade ago. The lure of playing for French top 14 side Toulon proving too good to turn down. Yeah, it's the benefit of, of being a world game that, that you do have the opportunity to, to travel different countries and, and, and play in different countries. And, uh, you know, definitely the aspect of uh, experiencing different culture, different language and different um, uh, way of doing things uh, appealed to me. I'm very impressed by the roster that they do have. Um, you know, whether putting that, uh, you know, whether that translate onto the park, it, it's yet to be seen. But um, you know, in the past two seasons, I've seen them develop into a, a quite a, a competitive side and a, and a side that uh, played extremely well this year in um, in the top 14. So uh, I expect th uh, big things from them, and I uh, um, hope to contribute in in any way. There are few current players who command as much universal respect as Smith. Twice honoured with the John Eales medal as Wallaby Player of the Year, three times voted Super 14 Player of the Year, the flanker has fond memories of his time spent in Canberra. I've had a, a, a great association with the Brummies for over 11 years and, um, you know, they, they've been like a second family to me. Um, you know, the, the, the Canberra community is such a a welcoming community and they, they support the, the Brumbies in, in every way they can. You know, they, they've helped me develop as a, as a player and, um, you know, the, the players I've played alongside are, are some legends within the game, so, and, and you know, their, their leadership and mentoring of myself and of the players in, in the Brumbies organisation has been fantastic. And during his last few seasons with the Brumbies, he had the added bonus of seeing his younger sibling, Tyrone, come through the ranks. It's always been a, a dream of mine to actually play alongside one of my brothers in, in a professional game and I had that, uh, that opportunity with the Brumbies and also with the, the Australia race side versus um, Cardiff uh, last year. So look, that, those, those moments I do treasure because uh, you know it's, it's, a, it's a special thing not only for myself but for my family as well um, who, who have supported us throughout our career. So um, you know it's, it's always great when you do get the opportunity to play on alongside you, your own sibling and Tyrone's a special friend of mine and, and, you know, a great person. His decision to retire from international rugby means he'll miss out on a third World Cup, but he's confident the current Australian setup has all the attributes necessary to take the Webb Ellis Cup for a third time in New Zealand next year. I think we're definitely moving in the right direction. You know, we've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of experienced players, but um, you know some some young players within the squad who are who are developing into fine players. And I think by the World Cup, we'll we'll definitely be peaking at the right time. So um, you know I think Robbie Dean's doing a great job with the the Wallabies. If the games lean up to it. Uh, I guess this 2010 season will have a good indication of how um, our our players who haven't played too many Test matches will, will fare in in the game. Because I think we've, we've come off the back of a you know a really decent Super 14 season with uh, the way the Queensland Reds have played this year. Um, you know, they, they've, uh, I guess, been the entertainers of, of uh, the Super 14. Uh, there's a lot of the youth, but I think uh, mature heads on, on, on them.